63 years old. Does that mean I'm older than you are? Well, general truth is generally true, yeah, probably. I've been married 42 years, be 43 this summer. Does that mean I've been married longer than you have? Not absolutely, but yeah, probably. My wife says she is happy and satisfied with our sexual relationship. And that makes me happy and satisfied with it too. Does that make our sex life better than yours? Not absolutely, but probably. Here's, here's the thing that's going on. So, I mean, I, sometimes I talk liberal, but I, I still think conservative. Goodness, it's so, it's so nice to blame victims because I don't want to be responsible for anything. It's so nice to, uh, to think that, it, that our country is a meritocracy because my wife and I, now we're doing fine. <laughs> and I want to believe, hey, it's because of me and our wonderful stuff we've done. But I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, so often I go to men's conferences or, and, and, and they bewail the fact that, where did you learn the facts of life? Oh, I learned it from a friend at school. Oh, the terrible depravity of it that your parents did not teach you the facts of life. These are not the facts of life that an erect penis goes into vagina and puts semen there to fertilize an egg. That, those are not the facts of life. I will tell you the facts of life as my father told me. These are things that people do not talk about. Adam and Eve probably spent two days, goodness, probably 12 hours before they had things figured out about where the penis went. These are not the facts of life. Here is the main thing that nobody talks about. You will not find it on television. You will not find it on explicit uh, sexual films or uh, gratuitous nudity on television or movies. Here it comes. When a man and a woman have a husband and wife have sexual relations, it is the man's responsibility to ensure that the woman has a satisfying orgasm. It is the man's responsibility to ensure that his wife and his partner has a satisfying and the best orgasm he can possibly engineer. If this does not happen, it is the man's fault. If this does not happen, the man has failed. Is failure the end of the world? Does failure mean you never try again? Of course not, but it needs to be recognized as failure. Now, there's all kinds of different ways you go about increasing the probability that your wife, your partner has a full and satisfying orgasm. Uh, shoot, using your imagination listening to what your wife says, what she likes and what she doesn't like, being patient, being gentle, making sure that the bedroom has reliable privacy, both of windows and the door that locks. Uh, many, many things that uh, your wife or your partner has probably been telling you for years that you don't want to listen to. But the first and foremost thing that nobody, nobody
nobody says and nobody talks about is that it is the man's job to make sure that his wife reaches climax and that almost always for every man means that she reaches climax first. Her orgasm is more important than yours because she is the more important person because you say you love her. And if you don't love her, you're a cat. You're a rake. You're, you've already admitted uh, your moral retardation. <laughs>